Hello friends, I am Upma Singh, working as an assistant professor at Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on NMR. NMR or Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is of various types, IR spectroscopy, UV spectroscopy and NMR spectroscopy. IR is infrared, UV is ultraviolet and NMR is Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy. It was discovered in 1946, but only after 1960 it was being used for the structural determination of organic compounds. This is the most advanced type of spectroscopy and nowadays it is used in various labs by the researchers for the determination of organic compound. So we can say it is very important as it involves the spinning of nucleus or only a proton. Transition of a nucleus from one spin, spa spin state to another spin state, it takes place by the absorption of radiation. When a proton absorbs the radiation, it gets it gets shifted to the upper part or we can say to the upper state. When a proton is involved, it is called as PMR spectroscopy or proton magnetic resonance spectroscopy or we can also call it as 1H NMR spectroscopy. This spectroscopy, it, it tells us in details about the number, the type and the nature of protons. It also tells us about the spinning of protons. The protons they spin at their own state by the absorption of radiations. If nuclear spin is 1 by 2, 3 by 2 or 5 by 2, then only it is spin active and it can be recorded by the NMR or we can say we will observe the signals. If the value of i is 0 or it is 1, then it is spin inactive and we cannot record the signals. For example, CH3Br. We will observe one NMR signal for this and that will be because of these three protons. In this case, we will observe two NMR signals as these two CH3 group or the methyl groups, they are having the same nature or we can say they are having the same environment. So, we will record one signal for them and the signals for this. Here in this case of ethanol, we will record two signals. Now, how the splitting of signals takes place? Here we are having CH3 or the three hydrogens. Now for this one we will observe the hydrogen present here. Here only one hydrogen is present. So we will add one plus one it will become two. So a doublet will be observed here and in this case we are having three, here we are having three protons. So three plus one it will become four. We will observe quartet for this. That's all for the NMR spectroscopy and for more details log on to www.gurukpo.com.